Let's get started on this tutorial. So first of all, I want to mention that I have a horrible breakout situation going on from all this nonsense and all this latex and paint and whatever. So I'm going to make my face as pale as possible. I'm taking white and a pale foundation and I'm just blending that all in. gel liner and I'm just going over the eyebrow situation and I'm just making them obviously as dark as possible. Now I'm just taking a blue shadow and putting that all over the lid. I do believe this is a elf shadow and like a big palette that they came out with. Now I'm taking a MAC 224 and I'm just blending that all out. I am blending that out with a gray. It's a very dark gray because obviously we want the eyes to be very, very dark. This will be the main focus along with your mouth. So just blend that out. It can be messily. It does not have to be neat. It does not have to be pretty unless you want it to be. Now I'm taking a really emerald green and I'm making that my quote unquote highlight. Now I'm going in with a blue shadow and I'm just really messily putting that all over the lower lash line and then I'm coating it with a little bit of black. Now I'm taking a black liner or black makeup, whatever you have, black face makeup, whatever you have. Just take something black and a very, very art definer brush, a very, very thin point brush. And I'm just drawing the lines on the upper and lower lids. And then I'm going to start putting the diamonds where I see fit. Then I'm going to take and I'm just going to very messily put some black liner on the where your waterline would be. And then you're just going to start smudging that down. There's no rhyme or reason, no motion, no design, no whatever. Just do it the way that you want to do it. There's no rules to makeup. it blended out. Then I'm just putting the rhinestones as I mentioned earlier. You can do any type of rhinestone, you can do no rhinestone. I just thought it would bring a little bit of a bling and a girliness to the look since it is so over the top. So I'm just going to put the three rhinestones in a triangle on the bottom and then one on the top. take a white face paint which I had black on here from doing the lines so it's like a light gray but any light color will do a NYX Wonder Pencil, a white eyeliner, whatever you have will work. I'm just tracing out where I want my crazy mouth that you're going to see to go and this is a lot of testing and figuring out how big my recommendation is to make sure that the latex or the scar wax that you use is closest to the mouth is flatter. Um, that's the one thing I noticed that wasn't perfection. So make sure that that is nice and flat around the mouth and then just kind of gradiently goes up. Okay, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But right now you're going to take your lipstick or in my case I just have a stack of color and I'm just going to take the red from that stack. I'm just going to fill in the complete mouth. One another thing I did notice is one side was a little bit thinner than the other. See how this one is a lot uh, bigger. You want to make sure that you make that as big and wide as possible because when you put your scar wax or your latex and um, paper towel or napkin or whatever it's going to benefit you a lot more if it is bigger so just make sure it is bigger so I have um, 
paper towel and I just rolled it up and almost in like a worm shape so you just roll it in between your hands and then right here almost like you are pen striping a car you just want to lay that down and then you want to do the latex and the paper towel the latex paper towel it's just a bunch of layering but like I said you want to make sure it is flatter toward your mouth area so just kind of take a spatula or something and flatten that down I'm literally trying to flatten my lip okay you can watch now pick up any red color the same red you used in the middle and you're going to put that on the outside of the mouth this is just going to nicely blend it into the rest of your face I really wanted to use red for this because it's supposed to be coming out of the mouth now I'm taking burgundy and I'm just putting that on the inner corners of the uh, mouth and then I'm just going to take that as you can see from the back and put a lot of it there and just slightly blend it forward so that it looks like it is receding extremely back into your mouth area so you really want to make sure that's why you're putting it under like you can see right there that's why you're doing that it's just a shading technique it's just so that it looks like it's going further and further back into your mouth so as you can see it looks kind of yeah now take your blood I first applied the blood with that small brush we applied all the color with now I'm applying it with this sponge I love the sponge it's so multi versatile I really need to get a close-up for you guys it's freaking awesome the reason I apply blood with so many different sponges and brushes is because it gives you a again layering but it also gives you different looks so you have a bunch of stuff going on so let your hair down it doesn't have to be done let it be crazy after all we are the Joker so I hope you guys enjoyed this it's just a fun twist on the Joker where you don't have to have crazy manly lines and wrinkles it's a little bit girly it's a little bit scary and there it is the link to all of these tutorials will be down below please like this video and subscribe I love you guys so so much there's so much more to come and I hope you guys enjoy it so all these will be down below please like subscribe I love you bye